here the Schrodinger wave equation is shown uh, it is well known to you and now uh, in classical as well as quantum physics the total energy of a system that means the summation of kinetic energy and potential energy is called Hamiltonian. Suppose uh, we have the total energy of a system is kinetic energy plus potential energy as we know the kinetic energy can be expressed as half mv square or p square by twice m where p is the momentum and potential energy is vx v is a function of x and h is represents the Hamiltonian. Now if we substitute for the expression of momentum operator which we have already derived that is p is h cut by i del del x and substitute in the Hamiltonian function the Hamiltonian operator is given by h cap is equal to minus h cut square by twice m del 2 del x 2 plus v x. Now in our later classes we shall discuss the time independent Schrodinger equation when it is clear this, that this Hamiltonian operator working over its Eigen function gives us the total energy of the system. Then energy observable is associated with the Hamiltonian operator. We have uh, already discussed that Schrodinger equation plays the central role in case of quantum mechanics. The equation is minus h cut square by twice m del 2 psi and here the psi is in upper case um, del 2 psi xt del x2 plus vx psi xt this is equal to i h cut del psi xt del t where we know that psi xt is called the wave function. This is the wave function and Vx is the potential energy of the system and H cut is nothing but the Planck constant divided by 2 pi and I is root over of minus 1. So uh, this is a, mm, uh, this differential equation is to be solved to obtain the value of psi. Now, uh, here we have assumed that v is the only function of position coordinate it is independent of time and uh, now here uh, it is a partial differential equation we shall first use the method which we call the separation of variable technique separation of variable to treat this partial differential equation. As we have seen that psi xt is a function of both position and time. Let us assume it is upper case psi. Now let us assume this is a simple product of two functions. This psi is in the lower case. It is psi. And phi as a function of t only. Look here psi x t is a function of both position and time. It is a simple product of two functions where psi is only a function of position x and phi is only a function of time. Now using this we shall treat this equation. Now from here we are going to obtain the value of del psi del t. Now from this is called number 2 and this is number 1. Now from number 2 we have del psi xt del t. Look here when we are going to take the derivative with respect to time psi is only a function of x. So it will not be affected and it will it can we can treat it as a constant term. So it will be psi x and d phi dt. Because phi is only the function of time, psi is only a function of x. So we have this one and del psi xt del x. When we are going to take differentiation with respect to x, then phi t being a function of time, it appears as a constant. So we have phi t d psi x dx. And we can Again, if we take the derivative del 2 psi xt 
till x2 again phi t being a function of time it is constant so phi t d2 psi x dx2 so we have this one call it number 3 and call it number 4 and now if we put these two values in the equation first equation we have minus h cut square divided by 2m del 2 psi x t del x2 this is uppercase psi del 2 psi del x2 we have obtained the value it is phi t d2 psi x dx2 plus vx and what is psi x t it is psi x into phi t this is equal to i h cut del del t of psi x t this is equal to from number 3 we have psi x d phi t dt then if we rearrange this equation we have i h cut psi d phi dt minus h cut square by 2 ism phi t d2 psi x dx2 plus vx psi x phi t now divide this equation in both sides by psi x phi t divide this divide this equation so we have minus h cut square by 2 ism phi t phi t cancels out we have psi x d2 psi x dx2 plus vx this is equal to i h cut psi x psi x cancel out 1 by phi t d phi t dt what we have performed we just divide this equation by psi x phi t just divide this equation and look here in the left hand side we have minus h cut square by 2 is 1 by psi x d2 psi x dx2 plus vx look here all are function of x and this is equal to i h cut 1 by phi t d phi t dt here this is a function of time now this is a function of time in the right hand side and in the left hand side this is a function of x alone and we also already assume that v is only a function of x so left hand side is only a function of x and right hand side is only a function of time when it is possible this is only possible bo when both sides are constant okay only it is possible when two uh, when the left hand side is a function of x right hand side is a function of time and they are equal when it is possible when they are constant now uh, let us suppose this equal to this this is equal to some constant e okay so this is e and this e represents the energy of the system uh, we are taking the separation constant as e this appears as the energy of the system now here from the left hand side if we take the left hand side this is equal to minus h cut square by 2 ism 1 by psi x d2 psi x dx2 plus vx this is equal to e because this is equal to this is equal to e now uh, just by some rearrangement of this equation we have minus h cut square by 2 ism d2 psi x dx2 plus multiplying through psi psi x this is equal to e psi x so look here our partial differential equation the Schrodinger equation which was a function of psi x t here it is only a function of x here look here this equation turns into an ordinary differential equation by if we have the knowledge of the potential of the system we can obtain the solution of this equation and this is called the time independent Schrodinger equation and by solving this equation we can obtain psi x
okay so uh, differential equation again we have from the left right hand side i h cut 1 by phi t d phi t dt this is equal to e look at this is again straight forward it is d phi t by phi t minus i e by h cut just taking here dt and if we integrate it in both side we have this is ln phi it and it is minus i e t by h cut and from here we can obtain that phi t is going like e to the power minus i e t by h cut where there will be some constant uh, multiplied with this function this is giving us this part of this equation giving us phi t so from here we can obtain phi t phi x is already determined so from our assumption the complete solution of this equation it was phi x t it will be phi x into phi t it will be phi x and phi t is e to the power minus i e t by h cut so look here uh, Schrodinger equation which equation was a partial differential equation by adapting the separation of variable technique assuming psi as a function of capital psi as a function of was a function of both position and time we assume it the as a function of uh, only x and time and using separation of variable we convert this partial differential equation into two ordinary differential equation this is the x dependent equation and this is the time dependent part and by solving this we can obtain phi t and if we have the knowledge of the potential energy uh, of the system of the potential of the system we can obtain the expression for psi as a function of x then the complete solution can be obtained by psi x t psi x e to the power mi minus i e t by h cut and uh, uh, the general solution will be a linear combination of the separable solution that is we may can write it is starting from n equal to um, 1 it will be cn cn is a uh, these are the arbitrary constant psi nx to the power minus i ent by So, by this method we can obtain the solution for the Schrodinger equation.